Hey there, it's Elizabeth. I hope y'all are doing well. Um, I thought I'd bring you along for just a short little bit while I'm in here in my room um, doing a journal page, or trying to at any rate. Um, yeah, kind of take you through my thought process. And um, some of you have asked for a process video and I told you it's just difficult for me to do because I yak all the time and um, don't get anything done or I'm sitting in here for hours on end, working on several pages at a time. Okay, so we're just gonna get down to it, right? And now this is my book that I'm working in. Okay, let me just show you. how I showed this, I don't know when you're gonna see this. Perhaps you, I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just um, filming it for your pleasure. <laughs> um, Okay, so when I do my journal pages, I told you before, like I, I go through and I work on several at one time. And in between those times, I am collecting ephemera wherever I go. And so when I collect the ephemera, I stick it in my book on the day, like I just have pencil marked on here, Friday, May 10th. And yeah, so I collect the ephemera. Then I go back in and design the page and all that kind of stuff like, perhaps the first one here, like I did here for this one, okay? So I took some time um, over the weekend and designed the page, put everything in, even did a little, um, this is a cute little card from a hubby, and did my journaling on the back, and this is actually a tag that was sent to me from the sweet Laura. So, thank you, Laura. Okay. So it's hard for me to do process videos because like I said, I'm all these pages are a work in progress, you know, all of them, every single one. And when I feel like doing something, I go to that page and I do it. So that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, if you guys had seen one of my ramble sessions recently, I had gotten a fabulous, um, I'll, I'll try to walk and chew gum. That's another problem I have. I can't talk and do. Um, I got a lovely happy mail from Kathy Cadillo, super duper sweet. And so I'm gonna do her page um, or my journaling page. A lot happened on this day. Saturday is when I received the happy mail. Um, and so one of the things yeah, we did a lot. We were out with our kids and shopping and it was a busy day. Um, and I received this happy mail. So when I, on Monday is when I uh, videoed the showing of the rack. Thank you very much again. One of the things she had made me, Kathy had made me, is this lovely, uh, mm, what's it called? Uh, like a faux dory, a fabric dory. So cute, and it's Fred's journal. And Fred, as most of you know, if you've been on my channel, is the frog in my throat. So I thought that I got such a chuckle out of it. So what I did is, you know how much I love my printer, right? So I go to my printer and I printed it out, okay? Then I put, I'm in the process of putting Fred's journal up at the top, right? And I had it down here originally, and I didn't like it down there because as I was, you know, working on this page, this is gonna turn into a pocket actually. So when I finished working, or when I was working on this page right here, see there's the apostrophe right there, it's just gonna stay there. That's okay. All right, so Fred's journal up here, and the reason I had to move it is because originally it was right down here in the middle, and then I wanted to put this tag in, and this is actually a tuck spot, okay? So then I thought what I wanted to do was Kathy had made these absolutely gorgeous tags out of fabric and she sewed little bits, little bits of fabric on, love it, but I can't bring myself to use them right at this moment. Yep, they're gonna get hoarded. But what I do because I photocopy everything is I photocopy them, right? So now, let me get my trusty trimmer. Now I can take this and I can trim it down, right? That's, oh, I didn't do this. Okay, we're gonna have to use a scissor. Uh-oh, if Brooke is watching, this will be a first for me. I don't like using scissors because I'm spaz. So we're just gonna cut this baby out 
and I photocopied it onto white, uh, light, kind of lightweight cardstock. So, and it's just so beautiful. Oh, somebody else asked me as well what kind of printer I use. And I use a, it's called an NV, uh, HP, sorry, HP NV uh, Photo, I do believe. My husband picked it up for me. And I do love the way that it, it um, makes copies. And I make copies of everything. I print my photos from it you know, with it, with the printer, and yeah, everything. Okay, so I'm gonna round these corners. Whoops. And again, I just took her beautiful tags that she had made and I photocopied them because I don't wanna use them right at this moment. I will use them one day, not right now. They're too special right now. Well, they'll always be special, but I don't know. Do you have any idea what I'm talking about? <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to ink this up, right? And, well, here's another, okay. So I'm trying to, you know, take you through my process, my thinking, okay? Which is really a scary thought when you think about it. A lot of stuff goes on in this mind of mine. So, one of the things and one of the reasons why I photocopied this, right, is, and I'm, I'm going to scan it as well. I will, when I scan some things, I'm just going all over the place. Another reason I don't do process videos. When I scan things like this, this is collage piece of paper that I went ahead and scanned. I will put this on, uh, I haven't yet, but I will put this on the, the creative journaling site for anybody to use if they want. Uh, these things though, I do not. You know, the, the things that people send me that are handmade or they sell in their shop or on their YouTube channel, I do not. Um, scan in for public use because that's just not right so another reason this is what I was saying another reason why I went ahead and photocopied it instead of using the original is because I want to put this little note on it right so I do not want to waste this beautiful tag that she made for me and stick um, her little note on it so but her notes very important to me right so, and it just says, thought you could use these for tags. You make such great tags. Well, sweetheart, you make lovely tags. So I wanted to put this on there. I don't think I'm going to add anything more because I don't want to take away anything, you know, from the beautiful tag that she made. But we will go ahead and stick this on there. It's so beautiful. And I love pink and green together. Okay, so... We're just taking the trusty old glue stick. I know I'm gluing off camera, you know, because it's, you're not missing much, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm getting all that glued up, and I'm just going to stick it right down here because I want to keep her sweet little note. So I know who these tags, beautiful tags, came from. So now back to this page here. And the reason I wanted a tag is because I made this little thing into a tuck spot, see? So I'm gonna use this background paper of this beautiful journal she made me, and I'm going to glue it right in here to make a pocket, okay? And then there's a tuck spot where I have another tag that I can do some journaling on, and then this little tuck spot, because we went to Buffalo Wild Wings, and so I made this little tag and put on here that I received an absolutely beautiful rack from Kathy so blessed so that goes in here so the i really enjoy doing um tuck spots and tags and all that kind of good stuff right let me see um i was gonna put a little piece of ribbon on here maybe maybe not i don't know i still need to do my journaling excuse me on here so maybe i'll just wait okay so let's make the pocket shall we uh Let's put this away. Okay, what else? Where's my glue? There it is. Okay, I use Fabri-Tac. Now, Fabri-Tac is best used paper to paper in my opinion. I think it says, let's see here. It's, well, and it's obviously, it's great for fabric. So it bonds fabric, lace, glass, leather, wood, and trims. Okay, I like it a lot. I use it a lot. Okay, so I need to glue it around these three edges here. 
Whoa, and it's bubbling out. That's one of the things I don't like too much about the Fabri-Tac because it, <clears throat> I don't know the science behind it. I don't know if the bottle has like pressure in it or what, but it always seems to bubble out the top if you, you know, leave the cap off or whatever. So, okay, so we're getting that all nice and glued up. Got to put my cap on or I will get a volcano of Fabri-Tac. This stuff is stinky too, just so you know, in case you've never used it. Okay, I've got a lot of stuff in here, so let me just scoot that aside a little bit just because I want it to be sort of semi-flat. Okay, so we're just gonna... Um, I hope my head's not in the way. All right, so we're just gonna glue it down. I try to make it straight, you know, as straight as I can. I'm glue it right down here. This journal also, BTW, is a journal that um, my sweet friend Christy made for me. It's a hybrid creative journal. And this beautiful background paper is her lovely dyed paper that the book is made out of. So we'll stick that in there. Okay, now I have this tag here with her sweet little note on it. And I'll always now remember that these beautiful fabric tags came from her. And I'm going to do some journaling on that. Okay, now inside the pocket, right? Because now, this is now a pocket. I had taken, the day I received her happy mail, I hope there's not a glare. I don't know, I might have to keep on getting up and getting down. Okay. Um, I, I took a picture of it and I printed it out so that I will always remember that she gave me this beautiful package. And then on the back, she wrote a little note and that has to do with this journal here. It's about Fred. She has a Fred too, apparently. So this is gonna go right in into the pocket, right? And I have, this is also from her Happy Mail, everything, just about, um, is a ruffle, right, that she made. So I'm gonna stick that in there. Now let's see what else. Okay, this right here, my husband did this on Saturday as well. So he filled a bag to help feed families. So that's what he did. Uh, one of the things he did, one of the many things he did that day. So I'm going to pick, this is also from Kathy's um, Happy Mail. I'm going to pick a nice piece of um, scrapbook paper that I can write on, that I can still write on but that will cover up maybe this. Oh, I guess I should take this clip off. Another thing too, like I don't really care if stuff coordinates. I, you know, color is color to me. Like I don't, I, yeah, I just don't care. I don't know if that makes sense, you know? Like I don't look for things that are coordinating. See like this orange of her little post-it note doesn't match. Well, I guess it does match. Oh, it matches with that. Look at there. Okay, well, I lied. Mm, sorry. Okay, we'll just move on. Okay, let's put this back here. Okay, so I'm going to take this paper here, but like I'm, this is what I'm saying, right? This is red and white and blue and whatever. I'm going to back it with this. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's Fred. I'm going to back it with this right here. And I am just going to use a glue stick to do that. If I can find it, there it is. I just use regular Elmer's glue stick. So we're just going to glue this puppy all up. Normally, I would have my, um, well, let's just bring it over, shall we? I don't know. I've got so much crap everywhere. Okay. See, normally, I don't know if you can see this. Normally, I have this here. This is my placemat, plastic placemat that I got at um, the Dollar Tree because uh, I glue a lot of stuff and it gets messy because I go right over the edge so I can make sure to get all of the edges in and then glue ends up getting everywhere and it's a disaster. Okay, so that's all glued up. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Oh, that was one of the funny things. I think it was Debbie... I hope my head's not in the way. My friend from Debbie's Journals, I'll leave her link below too. Um, let's try to straighten this out again a little bit. Okay, there we go. So we flatten it out. Sometimes I use my really pulley. What I was saying about the glue is I was watching, or maybe Debbie had said something to me. I can't remember, anyhow. Um, it, I'll leave her link below too. She has a fabulous channel. And 
she was saying like how she doesn't understand, you know, when she's watching videos, how people can just glue like right on their on their bleh, on their book. And I was right there with her. Like, I don't understand because I get glue freaking everywhere. Okay. It sticks to everything. Not just my fingers, but to papers, to whatever. I mean, I have glue everywhere. Oh, there are my pups. Shh. And there's my husband yelling at him. Um, so that's why I use this. Whoops. That's why I use this right here. Okay, and then once it gets all nasty and really sticky, shh. One moment, please. This always happens. Why are they barking? It's fine. The lawn guys are here? No. Oh. Oh, okay. We'll go to bed. They're because he's gonna be walking around. Oh, okay. All right, come in here then. Be quiet. Okay, sorry guys. See, that's what happens. That's another reason why I don't do these types of videos. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, Jackson, please. I can't handle it. No. You're gonna upset daddy. Okay. So see, now I have this right here. And I like rounded corners, usually. So I'll just round these corners. And I'm gonna leave this just like this. And... Oh, that probably could have been cut off. Okay. And then I use Distress Oxide, too. Now, where's my doohickey? Okay. Yeah, you'll get very technical terms on this, on these types of videos. You'll get um, dog song. Yeah, yeah. You never know. You never know. It's all just a big party over here. All right. You guys asked for it, so I'm giving it to you. <laughs> and it comes with everything. Okay, so yeah, I like um, to ink a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of times I use colored ink, but this happened to be right here. And that is in Walnut Stain Oxide. Okay, so this is gonna go in here and I'm gonna journal on the back about how my hubby went through our cupboards, um, you know, to help those in need. And then here is some ribbon and it's attached to the spine of my book. Okay, so I'm gonna take my fabric scissors and I'm just gonna cut a chunk off, I think. Boop, like that, cut that off. Okay, I'm just gonna fold it like this and I will put it right here on this to just make a simple little tag Okay. All right, now I, this is the tiny attacher. Tim Holtz got it on sale. What I do is I keep uh, a pair of pliers in here because these little things don't smush down all the way, the, the back of the staple, and then it'll always inevitably get caught on something. So I just mash them down. Yep, I always do that. Then now this is ready. Here's another tag that is ready to go into the pocket. This is a furniture store that we went to, so I wanted to tuck that in that little pocket there. And then here is the special card that my dear friend Kathy sent me along with her beautiful Happy Mail. So that is going to go right into the pocket as well. Okay, so Jam Slam. There you have it, right? So I have a little tag here talking about the, I hope I'm in frame. Well, that's not what the tag is talking about. But uh, talking about the Happy Meal, um, this is from Buffalo Wild Wings, how we went out to lunch together. Oh, I might have to do another tag for that. Hmm. Let's see here, let's see here, let's see here. You know what? I could probably write it all on here. Yeah, I could probably write it all on here. How we went out. I might have to make another tag. I don't know because it was a busy, busy day. We got lots of stuff and we had a lot of fun being out and about. Um, yep. I think that's it. So yeah, and then this, of course, is the tag. Oh, no, I don't need another tag. This is the tag I'll write about what we did this day. 
going out to lunch, going furniture shopping, going kitchen shopping for my son's new place. Um, so there's that. Yeah. Little tuck spot. These are just ephemera that I collected when we were out. This is from the, I actually tore this off of the um, deli paper that our hot wings were sitting in. Yeah. And so all this is in your, oh, last final and last step that I do for my pages is I use Brookie Boo's, um, what are these called? Somebody shout it out, anyone? Um, date, date stickers. Okay, let me just find them. Where, where are you? There we go. Okay, this was a, let's see, what day was it? I think it was a Saturday that we went out. And I hope I'm doing this on the right page because this is another problem that I have. Well, one of many, ladies, one of many. Um, what I do sometimes when I, you know, like pick a page, I mean, see, I went through here and I put the dates on, yeah. Okay, so I wouldn't screw it up because I've done that so many times before, it's not even funny. Like I put the wrong date on the wrong page. I do the whole page and then it's like not even in the right spot whatever okay so this was the 11th here are the stickers okay there we go there's the 11th Ooh, this is a long one ah let's see if I can get it off of here okay there we go so let's see how shall we put this shall we maybe I'll put it over here maybe I'll put it over here hmm. where where my friends where hmm I'll put it right on the froggy. So it was the 11th of May and it was a Saturday. So there you have it. That's kind of my thought process. It's here, it's there, it's everywhere. And I use the ephemera that I pick up along my journeys, um, you know, notes from happy mails. I photocopy a lot of things to, you know, this is just, it's so cute. It came out so cute because it photocopies it just exactly as it looks. And then I can have this as a reminder that Kathy made me a journal for my Fred. And then the tags in here that I backed. Easy peasy. Quick and easy. And then always a photo of something, you know, little notes from people. So yeah, this is all about our day out together as a family and Kathy's sweet, sweet, happy mail that she sent me. So there you have it. I hope you guys, have, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you have a little bit more understanding of what I do in this book. Um, this didn't take like hours, but I had already started on it before I turned the camera on. So there you have it. This is my Saturday, the 11th and all the bits and pieces and then I'll work on another page at some other time and I have all of my ephemera in here no ephemera for these days so these days might have to be like collage or something like that I'm not really sure in fact this maybe this was the day I can't remember I made a journal and I'll have to look at my pictures because I did make a I began making a journal and so maybe that's what I was doing on these days. Hmm, I don't know. But yeah, I have all this stuff in here. All my ephemera and everything just ready and waiting for me to stick in here. And go from there. Yes. So there you have it. This is going to go here. Okay, so here's our completed page. Whoops, without everything else falling out. Okay, so yeah, there we go. There's our completed page. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I don't know. See, it's 24 minutes to, to do that and to yak at you. So, yeah. Maybe I'll do another one. <laughs> Maybe I'll, you know, attempt to learn to do voiceovers or whatever. Um, don't see that happening in the near future, but one can always hope. So, yep. Thanks for sharing your time with me. I hope you all have a great day and a great rest of your week. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.